Hello everyone, it's Linda Brown here. Welcome to my kitchen. We're doing this video during a really interesting time in history as we're all staying home during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. So I thought I would show you exactly how I cook in my own home and show you a meal that my family is going to have for supper. And then I'll give you a few ideas on how you can cook once and eat twice and even three times. So uh, I've got some uh, chicken thighs here. There's about three pounds of uh, chicken thighs and I've cut all the fat off and put it in a bowl. And uh, what I'm gonna do is make pulled chicken for supper and we're going to serve it with rice. So I'll tell you at the end how I cook rice. Uh, for my family, uh, it's done in, in minutes. Super easy, super simple using the multi-purpose steamer that came in my business kit. All right, so we've got our chicken thighs and I'm literally going to follow the recipe on the package, but I'm going to share a few substitutions with you so that we don't have to run out to the grocery store if we've run out of something in the pantry, the refrigerator or the freezer, okay? So uh, this calls for one cup of ketchup, half a cup of vinegar, a quarter cup of brown sugar and the chicken that's here in my bowl. So this is our pulled chicken and it can be found in our three week uh, dinner collection. Um, also right now we have a stay home, stay safe collection. You can purchase a 30, 60 or 90 day stay home, stay safe collection or you can just purchase uh, three packages uh, for $10 here in Canada. So what we're gonna do is take a cup of ketchup and I know a lot of my people follow keto, and this is actually a really uh, keto-friendly package. There's only one gram of carbs per serving, so you can even use a sugar-free ketchup, or if you don't have ketchup, not everybody likes ketchup, you can use uh, crushed tomatoes or strained tomatoes as well. It all works. So if you're eating low sugar, there's definitely options for you to make a really delicious pulled chicken dinner at home. All right, so what we're gonna do is take Epicure's prep bowl, and if you fill it right to the top, you've got a full cup of ketchup. And this is our new scraper. Love, love, love this product. It was sold out for a really long time because it is so popular. I'm just gonna scrape that right into the bowl. And you'll notice that I'm doing everything in one bowl, and that's because I am sick and tired of doing dishes. Anybody else sick and tired of doing dishes? My dishwasher is running twice a day. It's crazy. All right, so we've got the ketchup in there. So then what I'm gonna do is add the package to the ketchup. And I'm just gonna use my tongs here to stir it around just so that it gets a little bit hydrated as I add the rest of the ingredients. Now, I am out of brown sugar and this recipe calls for brown sugar. So you can actually make your own brown sugar. I'm gonna use the package to rest my tool on there. You can actually make your own brown sugar using white sugar and molasses. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of white sugar and again, if you're watching your sugars, you can even just add a little bit of uh, ketchup um, and crushed tomatoes and maybe just stir in maybe one or two of your sugar substitutes. I know some people use one or two drops, I mean. I know some people use like stevia or uh, I think it's called xylitol. Um, you can definitely do that. But what I'm doing is a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of molasses. Like so. And I'm just gonna make my own brown sugar. Molasses are like the stickiest thing on earth. They are brutal. All right. So we've got kind of like our own homemade brown sugar here. Just adds a little bit of a different flavor. That's all right. And the recipe calls for half a cup of vinegar. I find for my family, 
family, that's a little bit too vinegary. So I add about a third of a cup. I just like a little bit less vinegar. That's the great thing about these recipes that are a starting point. And I'm using balsamic vinegar. I find, I love the bite that balsamic gives to this recipe. So you can use whatever vinegar you've got in the house. So I'm stirring this around so that all of my chicken is nice and coated. And then I'm gonna put this in the crock pot on low for, in my crock pot, it takes about four and a half hours. Every crock pot's a little bit different. On low, you would cook it four to six hours, depending on your crock pot. On high, it takes uh, two and a half to three hours. Um, this also works really great in the Instant Pot. So I'll turn my crock pot to low. My mommy gave me this measuring cup because I cook bulk, big batch, everything's big batch. And it's so awesome for just pouring all of my broths and mixtures into crock pots or even uh, into freezer bags if I'm freezing my food. So huge shout out to my mommy who I miss desperately during COVID-19, but we all need to stay home and stay safe, right? So we're just gonna put the lid on that and we're gonna let that get silly for the next uh, four and a half, five hours. And I'll tell you a little bit about how I make my rice. So I rinse a cup of basmati and then I add it to my multi-purpose steamer. Then I add two and a half cups of water. Then what I do is I take two teaspoons of the Epicure broth mix and add that to the water and the rice and kind of stir it around. And I put the tray that comes with the multi-purpose steamer on top of the rice and then put it in the microwave for 12 to 15 minutes. It really depends on your microwave. My, my microwave takes about 13 minutes and I have perfect fluffy rice. So I, I will be taking or I will be making rice tonight for supper to go with my pulled chicken. We're going to have tons of leftovers of pulled chicken. So uh, on the meal plan for Monday night is uh, pulled chicken pizza. So instead of marinara sauce, I will put the pulled chicken on, on nan bread and then top it with cheese and whatever veggies I want to top it with on top. Usually I pick uh, maybe some red onion and peppers and it makes a really delicious pizza. I cook that at 400 for about 8 to 10 minutes. Perfect pizza. Also, you can use pulled chicken or pulled pork. Pulled pork is, is made in a very similar way. You can make pulled chicken or pulled pork nachos. So uh, it's a really great way to cook once and eat two or three times. A lot of people will double the recipe, especially if they're doing it in their Instant Pot, because uh, if they've got one of the big Instant Pots, they can freeze half the recipe and then uh, freeze it flat so that they can kind of break it apart, pop it in the crock pot, and have a really quick meal on those busy days when we get back to all of our after-school activities and all the fun things that we like to do before COVID-19. So that's uh, what we're having for supper. We're having pulled chicken and rice with a side uh, spinach salad. And uh, yeah, it's uh, really simple. So maybe we can actually clean the house this afternoon because I won't be cooking all day. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Uh, please comment on this video if you've learned a new tip or trick in the kitchen because uh, it helps me know how to serve my customers best.